Imagine you're a teacher assigning your students a group project. Class, you say, I'd like you to work together to determine the kind of tree in the photograph. The students start sharing their guesses with each other, passing their ideas forward to the students in the row ahead of them, until they reach Jabari at the front of the classroom who shares the final answer. It is a maple tree, Jabari proudly announces. You show the class a total of seven different tree photographs, and the students correctly identify only one tree. So many wrong answers. Look at the difference between these two pictures, you say. Let's see if we can troubleshoot. Gasper, please lower your voice a bit so that how you and Isabella's opinions can be heard. You proceed from the front to the back of the class giving feedback to each row of students. It looks like how you's answer was based too heavily on what Daniel told him and not enough on what Fatima told him. Let's fix that. With your guidance, each student adjusts the relative strength of their contribution to the final answer. Good work, students. Now let's try this again. You show the class a total of seven brand new tree photographs and the students correctly identify three trees. That's much better, class, but we could do much better still. Working backward again from Jabari in the front of the class, back to the back row, you adjust the strengths of the students' individual contributions. Neural networks face the same challenges as your class. Neural networks use an algorithm called backpropagation to apportion blame to the different nodes. Instead of you adjusting student voices, mathematical formulas examine the various interaction between nodes and adjust the parameters, that is, the weight of each node. When loss is high or the learning rate is high, backpropagation tends to adjust parameters more severely. As loss drops, backpropagation adjusts parameters more gradually. Eventually, the model's parameters become as good as they can be. The resulting model can make more correct predictions. Although the students classified images here, the same backpropagation technique would work for any classification problem. Note, however, that image classification models often use a different type of neural network configuration. To learn more about building image models, check out the resources below.